Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm back with a look at the newest release from By the Wolf for God. This is A Glimpse of Heaven. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. We are, I'm barely getting videos. There's going to be noise in the background. We got a new cooler in my office, so hopefully I can work in my office a little bit more. Dogs are barking, kids are coming home, husbands back and forth. You guys, I'm like near tears just trying to like it's it's too much, <laughs> too much going on in my house. So we're gonna try to get through this. You know, my unboxings are always pretty long. I like to show everything in detail. So we'll see how far we can get before the dogs bark and craziness ensues. A little grace today <laughs> for this one. So the release is A Glimpse of Heaven. I did double check on the website before hopping on here. It looks like the kit and most of the add-ons are still available in the shop. However, most of the stamp sets, if not all, are sold out. But don't worry, they oftentimes, most times, um, restock those. So make sure that you are following By the Will for God, that you're signed up for their email list, um, and that way you'll be notified when the stamps are back in stock. I will still be showing those in the video today and showing some tips on how to use them um, for those of you who did order them and just to kind of give you some ideas so when they are restocked, you might want to go ahead and grab those. So let's start by looking at the uh, devotional kit since this is the heart behind the release. Everything comes in this nice drawstring bag so that you've got everything nice and organized. This is such a good kit, you guys. I I know I said that every single month. So I even remembered to print the printables ahead of time this time. So I will show you those, but let's start with the devotional content. So devotional is going to be in your standard traveler's notebook, 14 day devotional, you know, pretty standard and typical from By the Will for God. Um, the title is A Glimpse of Heaven, and we are going to be studying just that, the accounts throughout the Bible that give us a glimpse into heaven. Now, there is some mystery to that, you know, that we will never fully know, not never, but we will not fully know what heaven is like until we are there, right? Until we pass away and we are with um, Christ in heaven. And so those of us who are believers, but the Bible does have some accounts from John and Revelation, um, Ezekiel, some of the other Old Testament prophets. Um, kind of give us a glimpse into that. Um, we're also going to be talking about um, differences in heavens because their heavens is re um, referred to different ways throughout the Bible. So referring to the sky, referring to space where the stars and the planets are, and then of course, heaven where God resides. And so um, we're also going to kind of dig in um, and define those terms and look at some of those things in this study as well which I'm excited about. Um, a lot of the scripture is in the Old Testament and in Revelation. Of course, there's lots everywhere as well. That's what I love about By the Wolf for God is everything is just backed and rooted in scripture. But um, my personal church that I attend has been doing a sermon study through Revelation. Um, and so a lot of this we've looked at in those sermons. So I will be linking those sermons down below. If you're wanting to go a little bit more in depth, I've had a lot of messages from people, um, you know, talking about just the current affairs of the world right now and, you know, wanting to do a study in Revelation and kind of see, you know, some of the things in there. And, you know, I'm not saying that it's end times, but earth is groaning. And so I know there's some people that want to go into some more in-depth studies. So I would highly recommend the sermon studies um, that our pastor has done. They would be great to pair along with this. Um, there were some days in here, like day seven, where we look at the creatures in heaven. Um, we did a whole sermon kind of looking at those as well. So um, it really ties in well. But um uh, Structure wise, I like how they start out this devotional. And so we're going to take a look at right away the flesh, sin behavior, the things we've got to deal with if we even want to have a chance of seeing um, heaven. We need to deal with our sin, um, right? And become believers. Only believers are going to be in heaven. And so uh, we're going to talk about that on day one. We're going to talk about salvation and sanctification, regeneration. We're going to go through that. And then we'll start getting into the heavens and kind of defining the differences between the sky, space, and then actual heaven. Um, I love these two days here, dark matter and dark energy. As always, I'm learning so, so much from these studies. You learn historical things, word studies, um, lots of scripture studies. I mean, there's just so much it's like a whole Bible study in these devotionals. Um, we're going to talk about the throne rooms. So you're going to see uh, some of that imagery throughout the graphics and things, the kind of rainbow um, that you'll be seeing in the colors as you know the light's shining through the uh, gems and things like that. And so I love how they tied in the imagery with that. Living creatures. This is a detail, again, why I live by the will for God. It's not, everything is so thought out and so intentional and just true to what scripture says. And so day seven, we're talking about living creatures. So the creatures that John and um, I believe Ezekiel saw 
And I, this stamp set here, Heaven's Gate, I really thought was neat because I saw this and I knew what it was because I've done this sermon study through Revelation. But many of you guys might not recognize this if you haven't read through that. You know, modern culture and, and just throughout history, um, heaven kind of gets portrayed as like little fat baby cherubs flying around with harps. Um, but as we read through Revelation and some of the Old Testament accounts uh, and descriptions of the creatures, they actually, uh, the ones that they see in there have three sets of wings. So there's a set of wings that cover their face, a set of wings that cover their body, and then a set of wings that cover their feet. And so um, I would highly, again, occur, encourage you to check out those sermon studies because uh, I believe that he goes into that a little bit, but also um, a study Bible is helpful. It kind of talks about um, maybe the purpose of that and kind of the symbolism of that, which is really, really neat. So um, instead of just doing a traditional angel wing like we might be familiar with, you know, they even went true to the description that we see in scripture. So I just, I love, love that detail. So we'll be looking at that. Um, just lots of good things, guys. Book of Life, Heritage, New Jerusalem. Oh my goodness. So, so timely. Again, remember this was written months ago. So um, all of the unrest that we've been seeing in Israel um, recently, um, that was happening after this was written. And so to to go to scripture and see the importance of um, Israel and the new Jerusalem that will be coming to earth when the new heaven is created and just really puts into context, understands even what's going on in our world today and the importance of that over there. And so um, it doesn't necessarily go into that here, but it's talking more about the biblical description of new Jeru Jerusalem. But just keep that in mind um, as you're watching the news and kind of watching the things going on, um, you know, Bible prophecy, guys, it's kind of crazy. Uh, lavished with love, a thin veil. So lots of great topics that we're going to cover. I also want to point out, make sure you're paying attention to the bibliography back here. This is something, um, you know, not all companies do this. And so, again, they are so transparent about where they're getting their information. They're not just telling, you know, personal subjective stories, cherry picking some Bible verses to go along with it and calling it good. Um, these are in-depth studies that are rooted in scripture, but then they also give, um, you know, resources. And I would encourage you to check out those resources. Those are good ones just to have on hand as questions pop up or as you're doing your own personal study to go check out those resources and see what you can um, pull from that as well. So a glimpse of heaven. Uh, so let's take a look at the, all the fun part, right, to go through this study. I'm really, really excited about this study. I haven't really done a heaven study before, so this will be fun. Okay, so let's talk about the printables and get these out of the way. When you purchase the physical kit, they will also email you a set of the digitals. Um, make sure that you're creating an account at bythewolfforgod.com. That's just a free thing. You're just putting your email, um, your pass, you're creating a password, your address, that kind of information. One, it makes it super easy to order during the pre-sales when things are going quickly in that morning. Um, but also it gives you a place where you can re-access your printables. Maybe the email gets lost or you misplace it. That way you can just go back to your account, log in and have access to your printables. So these are actually going to be the graphics um, from the kit. There's also some additional pieces that aren't in the kit, but these are sent to you for personal use only. Um, that way, if you want to print them on different mediums, let's say you like the um, clear stickers that are in the kit and you want more of those printed on clear sticker, you can do that for yourself. Um, and so the die cut images and things like that are here for you so that you can reprint those and use, you know, again and again as you're working through the study. But remember, personal use only. Do not be sharing these, leading a class with these, selling these, anything like that. It's personal use only. So those are the printables. And you can print those on clear sticker paper, cardstock, fabric, um, white sticker paper, vellum. I mean, there's lots of different ways that you can use those. Okay, so I've already filmed this like three times. So my kit is like all torn apart. My dogs keep barking. It just is chaos, guys. All right, so let's take a look at the journaling cards. You're going to get three journaling cards um, with scripture pulled from the study. Of course, we've got two Revelation scripture here and then 2 Corinthians 3.18. And we all with unveiled face beholding the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So as we uh, are talking about transformation, you'll see that um, throughout with the butterflies representing that. You know, butterflies are transforming from caterpillars to, to butterflies. So I love that they've included that image. Um, and so it's just really neat how they've tied in um, the graphics this month. 
The backside has some um, room for you to do some journaling. So maybe you wanna do some private prayer reflection and kind of do a tip in or something like that. Or um, these would be great if you want to work exclusively in the traveler's notebook. I know not Bible journaling, you know, Bible journaling isn't for everybody. There is a little bit of space here to respond to the prompts and the questions and the things that are in here, um, but not a whole lot of space if you're wanting to go in an in-depth study. So these are great to add in here as tip-ins um, to give you some additional space. Um, you can use the stickers in here. You could even deconstruct this and put it on rings um, and kind of go crazy with, you know, fluffing out your uh, traveler's notebook if you wanted. Um, you can also create little mini books, um, maybe just use these and as memorization verses. So you want to carry them around with you. Um, you know, don't be afraid to take things outside of your journaling Bible. Next, we have the kit sticker, a glimpse of heaven. These are great for putting on the inside cover of your Bible so you can keep track of which devotionals you've done in that particular Bible. If you're like me and have a lot of different journaling Bibles, or I like to use these on the front of a blank traveler's notebook. So if I'm going to be working through a separate traveler's notebook for my notes and prayers and that kind of thing, I will put this on the front. That way I know that it pairs with this devotional or you can use it in an entry. It does not have to be how I used it. Next, we have the Daniel Smith watercolor swatch card. This is unique to the By the Will for God kits. I love that they include this. Really, you can just pick this kit up and go grab a pen and you don't really need much else. Maybe some tape or glue and a pen and you're good to go. But um, they've included some watercolors for you. You've got six different colors. These are Daniel Smith, which are a high quality artist grade watercolor. Doesn't look like much on here, but it's actually quite a bit of paint. You just activate it with a wet paintbrush. Um, the colors in this kit are a little more on the muted side. And so that means you're going to get even more usage out of the paint. You're just going to use more water, less pigment. It's going to give you those softer tones. The Daniel Smith watercolors are very, very, very pigmented. So um, you do have to dilute them quite a bit, which is good. It extends the life of your watercolor, but you'll need to dilute them to get these softer pinks and blues and things like that. They included some fun ones like the duochrome blue pearl. This is a specialty one um, that is duochrome, which is awesome. Uh, and then these genuine ones here, these are made from actual ground up um, gems and minerals. And so sometimes they have like, uh, glitter in them or sedimentation um, just because of the nature of the element that it was ground up. So I, again, you know, we talk about the gems and things seen in the throne room. And so just seeing that in even being used in the watercolors is just super neat to me. So there are the watercolors and those are going to be colors that coordinate with the kit. <laughs> You have your flare pen. We used to get two of these, but they've replaced um, one of them with a set of stickers, which is awesome. <clears throat> so you're just gonna get one flare pen, a glimpse of heaven. This is just a little pen. So you could stick this on the top of your bow clips, front of your Bible cover, on a book bag, on your purse, on a jacket, pass it along to somebody. Um, again, just giving you some elements that you can take outside of the kit um, and not just keep everything in your Bible. We've got our bow clippies. You're getting two this month on the verse card, Revelation 21.3. This is going to be one of the key verses for the kit. Um, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. Talking about dwelling and camping with them. Lots of camping going on this this summer, right? So all of this can tie together with those other studies that we were doing, which is super awesome. Um, the bow clips, you can use these to um, just top off your pages or don't be afraid to take them apart and use the fabric as uh, layering elements in your in your entries. I'm not tabbing my current Bible, so I actually take these apart and use the fabric for other things. So don't be afraid to do that. OK, stickers. So we've got our alpha stickers. These are an opaque um, sticker with this really fun um, stained glass kind of image in the background. Uh, full set of alphas, ampersands, hearts, punctuation. There is the outliner stamp set that does coordinate with these as well. That's a separate purchase. It's a stamp that is a perfect outline of these alphas so that you can outline them with that stamp. So I'll be sure to link that down below if you wanna grab that as well. Now, instead of having two pins, you're getting a pin and uh, a set of number stickers, which I love. You can use this for verse addresses. Maybe you're listing, numbering things, numbering the days. Um, so you've got several of each number and then also um, some pieces down here to do some colons and periods and things like that. So there are your alpha and number stickers. 
Next, we have the kit stamp. So the kit stamp is a little bit different in the kit this month. So rather than individual images, you have this one large background stamp. Uh, it's like a vintage hymnal in the background with some birds and then these big hot air balloons. So of course you could stamp this and you know go in and color this and be really intricate and make a beautiful image out of it or use it as a background. So just stamping bits and pieces of it and letting it be the texture on the background of your page would be really fun as well. So here's kind of a look at that. So depending on how much you fill it in or how little you fill it in, lets it be more of a background piece or statement piece. I think it would also be fun to stamp on a separate piece of paper, paint it all in, and then use that as a tip-in. Maybe you want that as a tip-in in your notebook or something like that. This is a full, full four by six stamp set. Um, I do believe they have stamp blocks in the shop. Um, you are going to need like a larger stamp block. I found one at Hobby Lobby. If they've got the big ones in the By the Wolf for Shop, By the Wolf for God shop, I'll link those down below. Um, or you can just leave it on the backer and just um, stamp with it that way. If you don't have a large stamp block, don't feel like you have to buy that to use the stamp. Next, we have the clear stickers. So you get three sheets of these. You've got a sheet of these beautiful butterflies. These are so, so pretty with the very, very soft kind of watercolors. Um, some little crosses, uh, even the branding elements are stickers as well. And I love how they change out what the little um, by the well truck is carrying. They're carrying some butterflies this time around. So there are butterflies. You've got these nice, loose um, floral, watercolor florals. These are really pretty and fun as well. And then you've got your washi strips. So four different washi samples and then some banners and flags. Again, you do get these in the printables as well. And so if you want to reprint some additional um, pieces, you can do that. Maybe you want to size them different sizes, um, play around with them. You can do that, which is really nice. So don't hoard your stuff. Use it. You've got you've got plenty there. Last but not least in the kit are the die cut pieces. And so there is a texture this month. They try to include some kind of like fabric or twine or vellum or doilies. Um, sometimes we'll do an extra bow clippy. Um, but this month you're getting this piece of vellum with this stained glass image. So, so pretty. These would be fun um, to stamp. I'll show you the butterfly stamps, but stamp a butterfly and fussy cut it out um, would be really fun. So lots of different ways that you can use the vellum. I love that they include the textures because it kind of pushes you to maybe step out of your comfort zone creatively and use some things without having to invest in a whole package of vellum, a whole package of ribbon, a whole, you know, whatever it might be. It just gives you a little taste of playing with something different, which is nice. And then you've got your uh, die cut pieces. So you've got a variety of um, little verses, journaling spots, title starters, these really fun butterflies. Again, you do also get these in the printables as well. So if you want to scale them, you know, differently or print more of them, you can do that. Um, you've got everything's tied to the devotional. So these are going to be some of the topics in the devotional. I love these watercolor clouds. Those are super cute. Uh, here's one of those butterflies with that stained glass in the background. So you could do the same thing with a butterfly stamp, stamp it on here and then fussy cut it out, which would be fun. You've got your hot air balloons, some journaling spots. Love this like vintage ledger paper. It'd be fun for like doing some listing or taking some notes on. You've got some journaling spots. These are even printed on the back spot, back side, the journaling spots are. Um, they've got grid on the back, which is really awesome. So, you know, use them as tip-ins or layering elements behind your titles, you know, things like that. So just some fun, fun pieces. If you're you know, not going to use the colored side, you can just use the grid side as well. So I love that you have that option. So there are the die cut ephemera pieces that come with the kit. So there's a look at a glimpse of heaven, the devotional kit. Again, that is in stock. So I will link that down below for you guys. It's going to be such a good study. It's going to tie in with a lot of other things that we are doing, which is awesome. I'm excited for this one for summer. So let's set that aside. And then we will take a look at some of the other things in the release. I kind of have a giant pile over here. Let's talk about these because I always end up dropping them. So we have the Glimpse of Heaven uh, flash cards. So this is a set of cards. Now you can use these just as embellishments, just layering elements behind, um, you know, different die cuts and journaling spots. Or you can use these as a jumping off point for a word study. I love doing word studies. Um, when you start studying the words in the original language that they were written in in the Bible helps you to have a deeper understanding of the meaning of the verse. Um, some of the meaning 
not much, but some of it gets lost as we translate things into English or Spanish or whatever um, modern language it's been translated to. So to go in and do the word studies and look at the true meaning of the word kind of gives you a deeper understanding of scripture. So they've got a word and then a scripture to tie in with that word. And they're just plain on the back, but they're all um, printed in different colors. You've got different words, all themed with things that we were going to see in the devotional content, which is awesome. Book of Life. This might be fun little project to do with your kiddos over the summer. Um, Maybe just do a fun little word study. It doesn't have to be super in depth. Um, just going through and looking at the definitions. You may, you know, your kids might not understand the definition of glory or majesty or even the definition of heaven, eternal life. Um, so it'd be fun to kind of incorporate them in there as well. Uh, I haven't read through the devotional content in its entirety, but I didn't see anything in there that wouldn't be kid friendly. So this is one that you could um, do with your kiddos. Uh, they even the packaging they make so that you could reuse it. So they added some print on the back so you could use this as a layering element. So those are the flash ca- uh, flashcards. Love the soft, soft colors of like the sunrise or sunset colors of this kit. So pretty. Okay, next we have the Book of Life journaling cards. So each month they come out with something a little bit different. They've done boarding passes, postcards, prescription cards. Um, This month we have the Book of Life since we're going to have a whole day of study on the Book of Life. So you get um, three of each colorway and there are four different colors here. They are lines on the back so you can do some private journaling if you want. Maybe you've got somebody you want to pray for. Um, You know, maybe you're praying for somebody's salvation. You know, you want their name in the book of life, right? So use these as some prayer cards, um, but you're going to get, what, 12 cards in there and they're all lined on the back um, in colors that coordinate with the kit. These are also just great to have on hand um, for other journaling projects that you're doing. You know, you might not use all of them up as you work through the study, but um, keeping them in a little box, pulling them out and having a journaling spot, or if you're journaling in a journal or something like that, they're great for that as well. Next, we have the throne room label stickers, another staple that I love to have, not just for Bible journaling, but these are great for memory keeping. Um, I like to take a lot of notes. I'm taking a lot of notes in the studies that I'm doing right now um, in my growth journal and other notebooks. And so these are nice just to add little pops of color, maybe highlight a verse or layer behind a title or something like that. Um, so you're going to get five sheets. They're all the same size and same shape, but you got a dot grid, line grid, and then a journaling line. Um, there as well. So again, colors to coordinate with the kit, but they're pretty, you know, there's no decorative elements on there. So you can pull them out and match them to other projects that you're working on as well. Um, So again, another staple that I like to have in my office and use for a variety of things. Next, we have the alpha stickers. These are two different um, items in the shop. You've got the clear alpha stickers. You get seven sheets of alphas. Now, these are the same alphas that are in the devotional kit, but these are on clear sticker paper. So these are going to just melt right into the page. You can place these over Bible text and still be able to see the text through them. These lighter colors, I do like to go in and outline those just to help them kind of pop off the page. Again, another great time to use that outliner stamp set that sized perfectly for that. So you can just stamp it outline it, you're good to go. You've got um, solid colors and then you've got that fun stained glass kind of image in the background. So there's seven sheets in there. To coordinate with that, we have the throne room tile alphas. You know, I'm a lover of the tile alphas. Again, I'm taking a ton of notes this summer. And so these are great for using in those um, study notes as well. So you're going to get five sheets and colors that coordinate with the kit. It does have alphas and numbers, punctuation, all the goodness down there. I like to kind of mix and match those and you get multiple of each letter, which is nice. So there are the throne room tile alphas and the throne room clear alpha stickers. Next, we have the traveler's notebook. So there are two different sets. I have set number two um, and you do get two notebooks in each set. So you could have a total of four uh, notebooks if you wanted to go crazy with your notes. But um, I got set two. It's got this one with the rainbows. Troop God bow, anybody? Not me. I'm Troop Sunshine. But um, this would be great to use alongside that as well. But you've got um, a like gray cross print on the inside. And then it's just blank white pages. It's the same paper. 
that is in the uh, Traveler's Notebook in the kit. So nice and thick. Uh, I have used these to do art as well. So I wouldn't go super heavy with wet products, but you can use paint and stickers and die cuts and chunky bits. Um, I've even deconstructed it and made it into a ring bound album. So if you're not comfortable journaling directly in your Bible, these are great to have on hand. I also just have stacks of them around my house, grab them for grocery lists, idea lists, um, note taking, sermon notes. I mean, you name it. I have these all over my house and use them for all kinds of things. You've got this really pretty um, like sunrise sunset ombre here with the crosses. And then it's the same cr uh, gray cross print on the inside. So it does come in a two pack. And like I said, I like to use the kit sticker on the front of there to indicate that this notebook is going with um, the kit when I'm journaling in it. So there's that. Next up, we have the stencil. I am so excited. You know, it's so neat to see By the Will for God grow and change and adapt as the, you know, they've been around for a few years now. And they recently started doing stencils, um, I believe this year, the end of last year, and are adapting these over time. And so they've now done them where they include this top portion that has, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it has their By the Will for God branding on the top, but then it also has a hole. So I like to store my stencils on a binder ring. Um, I do the same with the Tim Holtz ones, my scrapbook.com ones, um, and those all have holes at the top, but the By the Will for God ones didn't. And so there wasn't really enough space for me to punch a hole anywhere on these. And so sometimes I was afraid of it, like maybe messing up my stencil using the actual like stencil part to put the stencil, does that make sense, <laughs> to put it through the stencil image. So now they are creating them with a hole at top, so on top so you can store them on a ring like that, which is really nice and convenient. So I love that. This is the stained glass sunrise stencil. I went ahead and just quickly stenciled it out so you could kind of see an example of how to use that. I only used um, three colors of Distress Oxide inks for this. Actually, I lied. I used four. I used mowed lawn for the grass, but then worn lipstick, squeeze lemonade, and tumbled glass. I will have color swatches over on my Instagram. I think I'm using um, mustard seed and or maybe fossilized amber instead of squeeze lemonade, but any any of the yellows would work. Um, but just by overlapping the uh, worn lipstick over the squeeze lemonade gives you that orange, and then overlapping the worn lipstick and the tumbled glass gives you the purples that are in there. And so just using a few colors, you can get um, that sunrise look. So this was very simple. I did not mask anything off. I used the big chunky dome blending tools so that's not like a fine tip, you know, itty bitty little tool. Um, and I didn't worry about, you know, overlap and things like that, but it gives you this really beautiful stained glass look. Um, I do have a tip Tuesday all about stencils if you want some tips and tricks for how to use them and get good results, but also using them with different mediums, texture mediums, um, gelatos, watercolor even, um, acrylic paints, things like that. So I will link that video down below. You can check that out and get some different ideas for ways to use um, your stencil and get good results. Um, one thing I really like about these particular stencils from By the Will for God is the quality. So it's thick enough that you don't have to worry about it, you know, catching and tearing and falling apart in the delicate areas, but it's thin enough that it's going to kind of form to your Bible page. When you're working in a Bible, it's got that little bit of a curvature. And so when I'm stenciling in there, I don't like a super thick, stiff stencil because it's hard to get a good impression. So this allows you to kind of form it to the page and get a nice impression. I did not spray adhesive or anything like that. I just laid this down, add a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place, and then just went in and inked up and I got a really nice um, impression there. So there is the stained glass sunrise stencil that will be in the shop. Uh, next, let's take a look at the papers. So you have two different options. You have a six by eight option and a six by six option, just depending on how you like to use your pattern papers. If you're not sure how to use pattern papers in Bible journaling, some of us, you know, weren't crafters before we became Bible journalers. So we're just not quite sure how to use some of the products or paper crafters or things like that. So I do have a tip Tuesday all about papers as well, giving you a variety of ideas and tips and tricks for using um, pattern papers in your Bible journaling. 
but you're going to get 24 double-sided papers. I've already gone ahead and flopped them to A side, B side, so you can see the two sides, but you get three of each pattern. And the quality of the papers from By the Well for God are just fantastic. Um, Lori is kind of a paper snob, which I can appreciate and love that about her. Um, I have fallen victim to the on-sale paper pads at the big box craft stores, and those are trash. The paper is absolutely horrible. It's super thin. It's only one side. It, it tears super easy. That's not the case with these papers. Um, they are thick enough that you can use them for memory decks cards or for tip-ins and you don't necessarily have to double them up, but they're not so thick that it's like, you know, you know, when you got like a piece of chipboard, like hanging out of your Bible, that just like sticks up. The Bible opens to that spot. Um, these are not thick enough that you have to worry so much about that. So I love that. They tear really nice. If you're wanting to have a torn edge, they're just really nice, good quality paper. It does have a little bit of a coating to it. So if you're going to be stamping on it, um, just be careful. If you're using a pigment ink, it is going to take extra long to dry. Um, so I like to use an archival ink or stays on ink or just make sure that I heat set the ink that I do stamp on there with um, to make sure that I don't smear it. So you're saying you're getting a variety of, you know, busy patterns, bright patterns, simple patterns, things that you can use as a full tip in. Um, these are great for using to make your own little mini books, um, tip ins, memory decks, cards, die cutting, all kinds of things like that. I've already cut into mine. I'll show you that here in a second. So you get 24 double sided papers in the paper pack. Again, you've got six by six or six by eight. Uh, I like the six by eight because it almost fills an entire page of a traveler's notebook. So if I wanted to journal in there and do my artwork, it would be an entire background one and done, ready to go. So there are the papers. So let's jump into the stamps. Again, I'm sorry, it does look like um, a lot of them are, if not all of them are currently sold out, but they will be restocked. We've got um, Heaven's Gate, like I showed you with the angel's wings um, and then the gate. This would pair well. Let me see if I can find it and grab it. Hold on. Okay, I went and pulled out some additional stamps. These are some older stamp sets from By the Will for God. If they are still in stock, I'll link them down below. I like to always mix and match and remember what I have in my stash to make sure that I'm using it. So um, this foundational fillers, this isn't really meant to be um, fence lines, but I imagine that you could pair these to kind of do a fence if you wanted to do like a whole image. You could pair these and build up a fence. So if this is still available, I will link it down below. These are also just a really good texture stamp to use, but they would pair well with this gate. I think this gate would be really pretty, like gold heat embossed. And then this texture stamp. Oh, I love this. I love elements like this that you can use again and again. I always have a hard time with backgrounds because I've been Bible journaling for a hot minute now. It's been a while. So I've kind of run out of ideas for backgrounds. You know, this, the paint card swipe, the watercolor smush, um, blending, you know, you kind of just do the same thing over and over. So I like having different texture stamps that I can just stamp in the background. Um, that way I'm not working on a plain blank page. So this one's got a great piece for that. This one, oh, I think is going to be my favorite. This is Heaven's Flight. You're getting seven Whoa. different... All right, so you've got all these different butterflies. I want to show you some different ways that I have... Um, use them. I originally filmed this video and didn't do the stamp samples like I normally do. And then I regretted it because I had some great ideas that I wanted to share with you guys. So this first one here, I just heat embossed. I used um, some distress embossing glaze, but you can use any um, embossing powder, which gives it this fun kind of raised, um, raised image. And so then you can watercolor it and those raised areas kind of hold on to the watercolor. So I actually use the watercolor in the devotional kit and kind of just is this really fun, loose watercolor. Um, so if you want to do it directly in the page, but then this is one of my favorite things to do with um, bugs and butterfly um, type stamps. And so I used gold embossing powder and embossed it on some vellum. Um, this one here is just regular um, clear vellum. And then this was some colored vellum. You can also color vellum, print on vellum. So you could print different um, patterns and things like that. And then fussy cut them. As detailed as these butterflies appear, all the details on the inside. So they were very, very simple to fussy cut. I hate fussy cutting with everything that is inside of me. Um, but these were very easy to fussy cut out. And I love that there's a variety of um, different sizes. And I just added some adhesive to the center body part and then just let them kind of pop up and flutter. I mean, how fun 
are those. I'm I'm obsessed. Butterflies are going on everything. So I really hope that they'll be restocking um, this stamp set because I think you guys are going to kind of go nuts for this one like I did. Okay, next up is a functional stamp. I love that they're doing this series um, the last few months where they've been doing a stamp set that's kind of catered to those of you who might not have like a die cutting machine, electronic die cutting machine, um, punches, things like that. You know, it's hard to store those things. Those get costly. Stamps are easy to store. So they've done like journaling pockets, library cards um, that are the shape of the image. And then you just cut it out, fold it. Do You know, I think there was an envelope one as well. Um, this month we have tabs galore. So, uh, you know, many of us have the uh, tab punch, which is great, but that only gives you one, you know, type of tab. And we all kind of maybe get a little bored having the same style of tab. So this gives you a variety of tabs that you can stamp and cut out. These would be great to stamp on the pattern papers and things like that. Um, but this one here is really fun. I wanted to kind of show you. So this is meant to mimic like a ruffle of fabric. And so without having to go out and buy a variety of fabrics, you can stamp it on pattern paper. So I actually stamped it on one of the pattern papers um, that you can grab um, from the release. And I took it to my sewing machine and added a little bit of stitching detail right over the center where the stamped stitching detail is, uh, just to give it some texture. And then fussy cut it out. And then I just kind of like rumpled it and crumpled it. And so you get that look of the fabric bunching without all the bulk of actual fabric or having to buy a bunch of fabric right there with that. So this would be great to layer kind of over your tabs or layer behind titles and ephemera and things like that. So um, just a really fun piece there. Uh, this one I did not sample out, but this is meant to be folded in half. So you actually stamp it and then score and fold in the center there and it'll give you a double sided uh, tab. And then you've got that fun little cloud to go along with the release this month. So those are awesome. I love this one as well. You can stamp a phrase or maybe a Bible verse address in there so you know um, what you're tabbing, which is nice. So there's that one. Next, we have view from above. You have this really pretty line drawn um, balloon and a kite, some birds and a banner. Again, just one of those ones that you can get a lot of use out of the various different elements in there. You can even use this to create like a border. I like that it's separate from the actual um, kite. So you can just kind of use it as a border piece or a decorative element as well. Um, this would be pretty to kind of go in and color in, maybe stamp on some vellum and have different little vellum Hot air balloons would be really cute. So there is a view from above. Super pretty. This one sold out super fast. This one sold out before I even got my kit. So this is grids and lines. It's two large stamps here. So I do believe they are going to be restocking this one. Um, it's just like three. It's just shy of four inches wide and then three inches tall. So three by four. So for your journaling cards, if you want some um, dot grid or lines to journal on, that would be super handy to have. Uh, I, you know, it's easy to find index cards that are blank. And so if you wanted to cut those down to three by four size and then stamp, you could even stamp these in color. Don't just think in black and white. Um, stamping in those like muted colors and kind of customizing your own journaling cards. I Again, nice staple stamp set to use again and again. Also as a texture in the background. So just by, you know, kind of rocking and rolling and stamping little bits of it, you can create texture in the background of your pages. So those are these stamps in the newest release. Again, they are sold out, but they should be restocked. But I wanted to point out a couple um, while I was over there grabbing them for my stash, just to kind of remind you, you might have these in your stash or they might still be in the shop and you can pick these up um, that I think would pair well with this release as well. So Flying Grace, this is a much older stamp set, but you know, it's got some more hot air balloons, um, a little bit different style, but you could still mix and match them in there. You know, we're probably not using a whole lot of hot air balloons. I mean, I'm not, but um, this would be a great time to pull these out then and use them again. So, you know, don't just stow, stow them away and let them collect dust. Let's pull them out and use them. Okay, these ones here, adorned and fully treasured. I have used these. They don't look like it, but I have used these quite a bit. Uh, these are so fun to heat emboss again with some embossing powder and then go in with watercolor. Um, and then you get those different um, strengths of color in the different areas of the gems. So as we're talking about the throne room um, and that kind of thing, these would be great to pair with that as well. Really just fun stamps. And then this one um, just kind of reminded me of some of the details uh, in the, the throne room. We've done this study, kind of something similar way, 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 way back 
Um, this is for Revelation as well. And so this one might be just be a fun one to pull out and kind of mix and match as you're working through this kit. So I just wanted to kind of point those out. I'll link them down below um, if they're still available in the shop. So there is a look at the A Glimpse of Heaven release. Um, in addition to all these goodies, when you order from By the Well for God, they are super, super generous. You always get some kind of little freebie depending on how much you spend. So if you spend over, I believe it's $37.50 before shipping, you get this whole package with a small stamp set. Um, the small stamp changes depending on the stock that they have. So it's kind of a surprise which one you get. If you spend under that threshold, you get this package of goodies without the stamp set. So I like to leave you guys um, surprised a little bit. So you get, you know, die cuts, fabric clippies, stickers, just a variety of different elements in there um, to coordinate as well. Um, that's even if you're not ordering the kit, even if you're just ordering a book or a Bible or a journal or some tape and glue, they'll usually stick some kind of little um, freebie elements in there for you. You're also going to get your thank you card that's going to give you some information about the kit, where to find By the Will for God online, um, Instagram, Facebook page, their email list. You do want to be on the email list. That's how you get notified of the pre-sales. The pre-sale for this kit is over, um, but for next month during the pre-sale, you can get the stamp releases for a discounted price, and it also guarantees that you're getting them before they run out. So make sure that you're on that email list. They're also going to give us the hashtag to use. So if you are posting any images online and want to share with us, um, use the hashtag for this kit or search that hashtag to see some inspiration for how other people are working through the kit. It's hashtag BTW4G, by the well for God, underscore heaven. And on the back side, you're getting a little glimpse into the kit that we'll be releasing later on in June for July. Uh, I love that they do this. That kind of just gives you some heads up if it's one that you're going to be wanting to get. Um, that way you can plan accordingly. You get a little glimpse into some of the images, the colors, and then a description of what the topic is going to be um, for that next kit. So there is a look at the total release of uh, A Glimpse of Heaven. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I talked about here. Give this video a thumbs up up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.